I'm going to start off by taking two balls of tan colored clay to make the top and bottom of the burger. I'm going to put one aside and for the top part of the bun you're going to want to shape it into a dome shape but today I'm going to use this mold that I made using the Waku eraser and I actually sell this mold on my online shop called Kawaii Heaven. I'll put the link to it in the down bar. So what I'm going to do is put the clay inside the mold and then just press it down and distribute the clay all around the mold evenly and if you have any excess clay you can take your blade and just scrape it out but it looks like I used the right amount of clay so now I'm just going to pop it out and it pops out very easily and you can tell that there's little indents of sesame seeds now for the bottom part of the bun I just rolled it out into a ball and all I'm going to do is just press it down with my thumb and make sure to keep it in a circle shape so these are like the same shape and size like same width now what I'm going to do to this to the bottom part of the burger the part that's going to be on the outside you're going to want to texture it with a brush so this is going to be the outside of the bun so it's going to look like this now I'm going to take these two soft pastels in the color yellow and orange and I'm going to scrape a little off with a blade so I can shade the buns. For the lettuce, I'm going to use this green color clay. If you don't have this green color clay, you can mix yellow and dark green. So what I'm going to do now is just flatten it and just flatten it really, really thin. You can use your thumb. I usually just use my marker. And now I'm going to take a ball tool and all around the edges just flatten it out like this I'm going to take the bottom part of my bun as you can see this is the bottom part and as you're tugging you're going to want to also rip little pieces of the lettuce and then start placing it onto the bun like so. And make sure to do it all around. It should now look like this. For the tomato, you're going to want to get two small balls of red clay. I rolled it into a ball within my fingers and then just squeeze it. And there's one tomato and then your other tomato and then place it on top of the lettuce like so moving on to the patty all I did was mix brown and red clay to get this color and then I just rolled it into a ball and again I'm pressing down with my thumb and continue to press down until you get the same size and shape as the buns now that it looks like this, you're going to want to take your texturing tool, the brush, and texture the patty. And now from here, you're going to want to take your heart cookie cutter or any cookie cutter of your choice 
I'm using this heart one that I got from Michaels in a pack with 11 other mini cookie cutters. And you're going to want to cut out a heart shape right in the middle of the patty. The patty should now look like this. Now for the cheese, all I did was mix yellow and orange clay to get this color right here. And then I rolled it out into a ball. And now I'm going to press down. And then roll it out. Now I'm going to put the patty on top and kind of measure it out when cutting the square for the cheese. Now you're going to take your patty and center it onto the cheese, flip it over, and you can use your ball tool for this. And then smooth out the edges of the cheese so it looks melted. Now this step is optional, but I'm going to take my patty and cheese, flip it over, and use some super glue so it holds better. Now I'm taking my top bun and place it on top. Then I super glued the heart patty onto the lettuce and tomato, then inserted an eye pin on both buns, and now I'm going to go ahead and bake them. Now I'm going to glaze it. 